Hi guys, it's Phil here from Gen Tea. Today we're going to be brewing a Lomjing green tea. I'm going to walk you guys how to brew this in a gaiwan, a teapot, and a tumbler. So you're going to have all of your bases covered. Let's get started. Let's spend a minute and have a look at the gear we'll need to brew Lomjing in a gaiwan. I've got my 90 millimeter gaiwan, of course. A sharing pot is handy, and I will use one today. A teacup so I can sip the tea. And of course, let's not forget our kettle. I always like to take a quick second to warm up the gaiwan before I jump into brewing. This has at least two advantages. First, it's going to clean out my gaiwan if there's any dust or anything in it. Second, that warm, humid gaiwan is going to be a great receptacle for our leaf. It's going to release the dry leaf aroma and we're going to be able to really enjoy it. Let's get this fabulously flat leaf into this warm gaiwan and see... Hey, get back in there and see what we smell. Can smell even be seen? Oh, whoa! What an aroma! This is just divine. Definitely worth taking a few seconds to warm this guy one up. So this may be a little shocking for some of you, but we'll be brewing this tea with boiling water today. Don't freak out. Everything's going to be okay. We are not going to wreck this tea. It is not going to taste bitter. None of those things are going to happen. This is a quality green tea, and it really needs the boiling water to get all that goodness out. Oh, there's that aroma again. So delicious. Reminds me of a little bit like freshly baked cookies and a little hint of matcha. Reminds me of a matcha cake that Jen makes. I just love it. While that steeps, let's have a quick chat and a look at the leaf. The flat shape of Lom Jin is very characteristic, so much so that just about every tea that's pressed flat will be called Lom Jin, such as the price of great fame, I guess. Also notice that the color of the Lom Jin is not that bright, lustrous, brilliant green, or that deep purple green that we commonly see. It's more to the yellow green side, and that's just perfect for Lom Jin. That is what we're looking for. All right, that's infused enough, so out we come. Take a look at that liquor. That's what we're shooting for. You'll see the infusion times that we used popping up on the screen from time to time. But if you learn to use the color of the tea soup, you'll be free from stopwatches and other timing devices. You'll be able to relax and just enjoy your tea. I managed to get five infusions from this green tea. You can see that the liquor color didn't change much from infusion to fusion and the flavor profile was very consistent as well. And that is how you brew green tea in a gaiwan. Now let's brew the same tea in a tumbler. Tumbler brewing is the most common brewing method in China and it doesn't need to be fancy. You can just toss some leaf in a glass and pour your water on. But this is a very nice tea, so I thought I would notch it up a little and show you a slightly more formal tumbler approach. The gear for this is dead easy. You're going to need a tumbler and a kettle. And that's it! You're going to want to get started by warming up the tumbler, similar to how we warmed up the gaiwan in gaiwan brewing. This is going to allow us to enjoy that wonderful aroma again. The tumbler I'm using is about 300 milliliters, and I'm tossing in just enough leaf to cover the bottom of the glass. This is a decent rule of thumb for a tumbler of normal proportions. You might need to adjust if you have a freaky shaped glass, and I really hope you do, because that would be kind of cool. Once the leaf is in there, I'm going to put just a little water on the leaf. Again, this is boiling water, and I assure you, this is more than okay. This fantastic Lomjin needs it. It won't get cooked or burnt. It will only get delicious. Give that a swirl, and this is our opportunity to enjoy the aroma again. Yes, there it is. That freshly baked cookie smell again. No wonder we love tea. Once you're absorbing that awe-inspiring aroma, we add the rest of the water. Of course, this will need a little time to steep, and also to cool, so that's perfect. Once it's cool enough, or if you're like me and you just can't wait and you're willing to risk burning your mouth, start sipping. 
Don't worry if a leaf gets in your mouth. This green tea is so tender you can eat it. If that's a little too much, you can always spit it back in the glass. I've even seen cups and mugs with strainers on them, but I really think that's kind of cheating. Eventually, you get down to about one-third full. Not two-thirds empty, one-third full. At that point, the tea is cooling off and it's getting a little strong. Don't worry though, we're going to add some more hot water and keep it going. That's right, Tumbler Brewing gets multiple infusions too. And you can repeat this until the tea is spent. I tend to push my tea way too long when I'm working because I just love having something to sip on. However long you choose to enjoy your tumbler of tea, I do hope you give this method a try because it's a really great way to brew Lom Jin. If you're more of a teapot person, we've got you covered too. Even if you rarely use a teapot, there will be times that it will be handy. It's also a good method to use if you're grabbing your travel mug. The gear is very simple. All you need is a teapot, some teacups, and your trusty kettle. Once again, we'll be using boiling water. We'll toss our leaf into the pot. There we go, get that all in there. And we will fill her up. When you're brewing Lom Jin, you really want to agitate the leaf. And now we wait. Okay, I know you're looking at that teapot and you're thinking, that is not a teapot. And you're right. That's a cold brew bottle that Jen and I use as our teapot. It's about 850 milliliters, and we just love to be able to see the liquor and the leaf. Really, any teapot will do. But how long do we wait? While your teapot may be a different size, you'll have adjusted your leaf amount so that the ratio of water to leaf will be about the same as ours. So, your steep time will be almost the same, too. Ah, tea and physics together at last. And that's how we brew Long Jin in a gaiwan, a teapot, and a tumbler. I hope I gave you some tools to feel confident brewing green tea and maybe put away the scale and the thermometer. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel where you'll get more how-to videos like this as well as information about tea processing, tea travel, and much, much more. I'm Phil from Gen Tea, where tea is like fine wine, signing off. Keep it steeping. Today we're going to be brewing a... Also, little, little.